Good evening, this is Chavy D right here. It is uh, November the 30th, 2018, and I got you here looking at this old cylinder head. I thought I'd try to show you in a little bit more detail. I talked to about, I, I didn't really talk about, but I left in the comments about these uh, uh, spots inside of these combustion chambers, and I was kind of wanting to know one of two things. One, is it is it going to ruin the cylinder head? And number two, um, uh, what causes it? So this is number this is cylinder number six, and I don't know if you can. It should be able to see in there pretty good. There doesn't seem to be much, much. There's a little bit of erosion, but nothing like the you know the other uh, engines. I've got a pick tool here. I want to use to try to point out the uh, the uh, pro the interesting areas uh, that are kind of like eroded out on these other uh, cups. Now there's a cup. It looks like this. And these go at the very bottom. Those, these uh, last four had problems coming out. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. But um, I think that there's mo mostly they were stuck because of rust. But it's this erosion that I'm not so sure about what causes it. You can probably kind of see it there. With that little sort of that little hole at the very base. Um, boy, I just need another hand. I'll try to use my this pick tool here as a uh, guide, but if you can, man, this is not doing too good. I did I tried to make another video, but uh, I'm getting a lot of glare off this one, unfortunately. If you can see down in there, I can actually put this into this hole here. I just didn't know what caused that. That's cylinder number five, and it's got almost like a little hole right here, too. I don't know how to keep that from glaring so terribly bad. Okay, that looks a little bit better. You might be able to see the erosion across from one another, kind of like. What if it, yeah, you're not going to be able to see it without that, some sort of light. So the places I'm talking about, right here, this is cylinder number five. That might be there, if I remember right, I think this cylinder's got cracks in it, so this might be on the opposite side of those cracks, and there's a crack right here too, or something. Okay, this is cylinder number four. Try to take the light down a bit here. And like I said, I can really poke this in there. I just don't know if that's going to come up to the coolant jacket or not. I've had some people tell me on a Facebook forum to just bolt it on and see, but I hate I hate to uh, waste my effort because to remove this is so difficult. To remove this cylinder head and put it back to running the condition. There's so many hydraulic lines in the way. So cylinder four. This is cylinder number three. It's right, right there. I'm just getting the light just right as the kind of like the key. That goes from there to like there. It's another spot where like eroded or something. Can you see it right there? The very bottom. From there. Hey, I was just trying to show you guys this on the Facebook forum to kind of, I you know, 
whenever I buy a used cylinder head, I need to know if this is something that's going to kill it or not. Cylinder 3. Well, this is cylinder 2. It's kind of doing the same thing. You can see that spot in there. Now, I did take some brake cleaner and I, and I tried to air it off to kind of get it down to like where you can actually see a little bit better. Yeah, that, one, that shot's not too terribly bad. Like right in that area. It's like a chunk of metal is just really just missing out of it. I don't know if it actually cooked out or something got in there and hammered around and did that. Like a I think that maybe, I know the glow, this is a glow plug in, just don't know if a glow plug could somehow do that. So I'm just sort of like looking for some feedback. This is Sonar 1. This tractor did have all brand new glow plugs in it whenever I bought it. So, they were obviously trying to get it running. And most, whoever's following this can tell that it's not going to run. Is the blown head, blown head gasket and other issues have come across. So, anyways. Maybe I can try to do a pan. <laughs> cylinder one, cylinder number two. Can you? Just getting that light just right is like the only way to get a good shot of that. I'm hoping you guys can see it okay. Cylinder three, cylinder four, cylinder five. And four six don't look that bad. All right, I might take another look, show you guys the look of the block with some better light, or the decking, or whatever you want to call it, the mating surface between the head and the block gasket, and I'll go from there. Charlie, do right out.